right, back to Hardball. The politics is spectacle theme continues here in the Sideshow. This week, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie was campaigning out in California with Meg Whitman when a heckler interrupted Whitman's speech. Christie was quick to jump in. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, listen. You know, hey, listen. You know what? You want to yell, yell at me. But don't give her a hard time. We're here. We're here talking about the future of the state of California and the future of our country. And you know what? And you know what? And you know what? Let me tell you. And let me tell you this. You know what? It's people who raise their voices and yell and scream like you that are dividing this country. We're here to bring this country together, not to divide it. Christy services are in demand anywhere. California is just the first stop on his 11 state political tour. He says he's not thinking about running for president in 2012. Let's see how 2010 goes. Moving to New York. Hot meat kettle. Ex-Governor Elliot Spitzer apparently publicly whacked at Andrew Cuomo, the fellow Democrat who's running for his old job. Spitzer said yesterday, quote, everybody knows that behind the scenes, Cuomo is the dirtiest, nastiest political player out there, and that is his reputation from years in Washington. This is coming from the guy who himself had to resign over his own personal scandal. Ouch. Finally, the White House sends its regrets. Check out today's lead item in page six. Obama, Obama trio planning to skip ex-budget director Peter Orzag's wedding. The paper reports that Valerie Jarrett, David Axelrod, and Rahm Emanuel all made last-minute cancellations. Apparently because of a New York Times column Orzag wrote this month. Made the case for extending all the Bush tax cuts. A big departure from the president's official position. Orzag's wedding to ABC correspondent Biana Golodriga is set for tomorrow in Manhattan. I think the snub has a lot more to do with something that isn't about that column and may have to do with how they work together in the White House. Now